Welcome to the next lecture on introduction to R software. You may recall that in the earlier lectures, uh, we had discussed about the basic fundamentals mainly related to how to start and how to work with R. From this lecture onwards, in the next couple of lectures, we will be talking about uh, how to do calculations in R. And again, I will say I will be concentrating on the basic fundamentals. And my objective is that I should help you so that you can learn the course yourself. So here again, uh, what I am going to do that I have taken some simple calculations. I will try to show you it online. And my request is that you also try to do the same thing yourself on your computer. And not only the examples which I am taking, but try to take more example from your area from your subject and try to solve them. The more you practice, better you will be. One thing I can also accept that here I am trying to copy and paste the commands from my slides. And, uh, but uh, uh, but uh, I would request you to at least type those commands yourself. The advantage of typing the commands yourself is that you will remember where to put comma and where to put inverted comma, where to put, uh, put uh, say this uh, uh, say full stop and where to put colon. These things can come only when you type the command yourself. Okay, so let us now start with our lecture. So in this lecture, I am going to talk about the basics and how I can use R as a simple calculator. A uh, simple calculator is one where you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and some bracket rules also. So let us try to start it, but before that, let us try to understand the terminology and the symbols and notation used in R. Okay. First thing what you have to keep in mind that as soon as we start our R, there is a prompt sign and the prompt sign in R is denoted by greater than sign. So, this will always be the sign when you start your R and th that will be the first line on the R GUI window. That is the R graphic user interface window. Okay. Now, after this, uh, whenever we want to do anything, I have to assign a value to a variable. For example, in mathematics, you have seen that uh, usually we write x equal to 2. So the question is this, that how to do this thing and what is the meaning of this thing? The meaning of writing x equal to 2 is this, that I am trying to consider here a variable and I am assigning it a value 2, right. So in case if I want to do this thing in R, I have two option. This equality sign can be used as just as equality sign and another option is this, instead of equality sign, this symbol less than and hyphen, this can be used. So if you try to see here, I am trying to write down here x less than hyphen 20 or I can also write x equal to 20. Now the question comes out why there are two symbols for the same job. Actually when R started, that was developed on the lines of S plus and in S plus, the assignment operator was this one, less than hyphen. So for some time, the R also continued with the same sign, but recently with the updated version of R they replace this less than hyphen sign with an equality sign. So in the current version of R, you can use any one of them. Okay. So similarly, if I try to write here x equal to 20, this is going to assign the value x equal to 20. Now if I say I want to multiply the value of x by 2, so I can write down here x into 2 
and this value is going to be assigned into a new variable y. And now I want to add x and y. So, I am trying to add x and y over here and this outcome is going to be assigned in the value here z. So, let us try to do this thing uh, first on the r and let us try to see do we get the same outcome. Although here I have uh, given you a screenshot of the uh, operation, but still I will try to do it before you. So, now let us try to come on the r software and here I try to type the same thing which I have done here. So, I try to type here x less than hyphen 20 and you can see here as soon as I enter it, it is not giving me anything, but it has uh, already assigned the value 20 to small x. So, now if I try to type here x and I press enter sign, then it is showing me what value has been assigned to x. Now, on the other hand, if I try to define here a new variable y is equal to x into 2, this one can be defined like this and here you can see I am using here the equality sign, whereas I can also use the uh, equality sign in assigning x equal to 20. So, you can see here now I have here y. So, what outcome do you expect? I already have taken x equal to 20, so 2 into 20 is 40. So, now when I try to see the value of y just by typing y and then entering it, I get here the value 40. Right. Now, I try to define here another variable z which is uh, adding the value of x and y. So, I can write down x plus y. So, you can see here whatever is the outcome of x plus y, this has been assigned to the new variable z. Now, what is the value of z? So, let me try to type here z and then enter. So, you can see here 40 plus 20 is equal to 60. So, this is how we try to assign the value to a variable. Right, okay. One thing here I would like to, uh, to tell you that in case if you want to clear the screen, then the syntax is control L. So, for example, if I try to press here control and then by pressing control, I will uh, press here L, you see the, uh, the screen is clear. Okay. Now, if you try to see the same thing I also have given on my slide also. And uh, so, one thing what you have to keep in mind that if you want to clear the screen, you have to press control key plus L. So, this will clear the screen. So, you, you will see that uh, once we are trying to do it, you will need to clear the screen so that we can see something new. Okay. The the next uh, point which you have to understand is that whenever I am using the sign here hash, it is something like this, it is available on the keyboard, then this character marks the beginning of a comment. What is a comment? For example, when I write x equal to 2, that means the value 2 has been assigned to a variable x and when I try to write 2 into x the value of uh, x is multiplied by 2 and we get 2 into 20 that is 40. But now if I say x equal to 2 is a comment, that means there should not be any mathematical operation over the comment. That will simply appear as a statement. So, during our programming at uh, many stages, we uh, try to write the comment. This helps us in, in recalling the program at a later stage. For example, if I am using two variable x and y, by x I am denoting age and by y I am denoting height, then it may be possible that after a couple of months you may forget that what a variable you had assigned to x and what variable you had assigned to y. So, you can simply write inside the program uh, as a comment that x is used to assign the ages and y is used to assign the weights. So, whenever you want to write a comment, you simply have to write the command starting with the hash sign. Right. So, you can see here for example, when I try to write down here x less than hyphen 20, this is taken as a mathematical statement, but when I try to put here 
they say hash sign here, then it is treated only as a comment. Right. So, let us try to do it here on the online question also. So, now if I try to assign a value here x equal to 20, it is here. And now if I try to uh, find whether there is a variable y or not, I do not know, there is no variable y. But in case if I try to write y equal to 20 and before that if I write the hash sign y equal to 20, you will see here there comes something like this and now if I try to find out the value of here y, it says object y is not found because y is not a mathematical value, but it is only a comment. Now, on the other hand, means if I try to uh, write down here the value of y without this hash, you will see here I get here the value of here y. And, and one more operation which you have to notice here that when I was writing y equal to 20, I had not typed y equal to 20, but I had used the earlier command hash y equal to 20 and from here I deleted the value of y. How I have done it? I have simply used the arrow keys and I have just came to an earlier uh, command and simply I have edited it. So, that is another trick by which we can save our time in typing the command. Okay. So, now let us come back to our slides. Right. Okay. So, now let us try to come back to another aspect. Whenever you are trying to assign a value to a variable, then the variable names are given by alphabets and the values are some numerical values. In R, you have to keep in mind that there is a difference between a small x and capital X. These are not the same, these are different. For example, here if I try to assign here the value capital X less than hyphen 20 or capital X equal to 20 and if I try to say here a small x equal to 20, these two are not the same, these are different values. Right. For example, let us try to see here how it happens. So, first I try to clear the screen. So, I say control L and this clears the entire screen and now I try to take here a variable here z, z equal to 2 and please note that this is say small z. Right. So, when I try to say here 2, it is giving me this value here 2. But now I am asking what is the value of capital Z. Now I am typing capital Z and now when I enter it says capital Z is not found because I have assigned the value to small z not to the capital Z. So, that is a very important point to always keep in mind that whenever you are writing a program the variable names are to be defined carefully and whenever you try to recall the variables name you have to recall them carefully also. Okay. And here if you try to see, I also have given here a slide by doing some calculations over here, where I am trying to give here the value here x equal to 20 and, and then capital X is given here a value 30. So, you can see here when I try to recall the value of capital X, this gives me 30 and small x give me the value 20. So, that is a small exercise which you can do yourself on your computer. Okay. So, Next command. Here you can see that I have used here a command here C and inside the bracket I have written some values. Right. What is the meaning of C? C means combine. So, whenever I am writing the small letter C and uh, inside the bracket I am trying to write down the numbers that is simply trying to assign them inside a vector. Right. So, in order to understand first we try to do something without using the C. Right. So, you can see here I have taken here an example 
where I am trying to define here my hair y as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I try to write down here, say here I can write down here y equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and you can see here I am not getting anything, but it is showing me something, some error and that is a, uh, saying that unexpected comma is found in y equal to 1, right. So, that is not working. So, now I try to say put here two brackets and I try to give all these values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inside the bracket, it still that is giving me some error. But now I try to put here C. That means I am asking my R to combine the value of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in a vector and when I try to enter it there is no error and when I try to recall the value of y it gives me a vector of 1 by 5 and that is containing 5 values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, whenever you want to do any operation over a set of values then you have to give it in the form of a data. So, data is always given uh, using the combined option, okay. So, that you have to keep in mind, okay. So, now let us again come back to our slide, right. So, the, so the same thing I have given here in the slide, you can also try it yourself, okay. Now, I am going to show you here that how to do the basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So, these operation are just like as you try to do on a calculator. Just come to the prompt in your R and simply try to type your commands exactly in the same way as you do in a simple calculator. For example, and I want to do here addition, I simply try to do here 2 plus 3 and this will give me the value 5. Similarly, if I want to multiply 2 and 3, I will say 2 star 3. A star is the sign of multiplication and this is the same sign that is available on any simple calculator also. And you can see here, I have given here the screenshot of 2 plus 3 and 2 2 into 3. I will try to show you also. Similarly, if you want to uh, do the subtraction, the subtraction can be done only by here just like calculator 2 minus 3 and the outcome will be here minus 1. Similarly, if you want to do division 3 divided by 2, something like 3 divided by 2, just like it, as in a calculator, it is written here as say 3 divided by 2 and it will give you the value value 1.5. In case if you have a little bit a longer mathematical expression, then the same rule that first division, then multiplication, then addition and then subtraction is performed. So, I have taken here a simple expression where I am trying to multiply 2 and 3 minus 4 plus 5 divided by 6. So, if you try to, try to do this operation, you will get the same outcome. So, uh, before I go forward, uh, let me try to do all these things before you so that you can understand it, right. So, now if I want to add here 2 and 3, so I have to simply type here 2 plus 3 and it uh, gives me 5. Similarly, if I want to subtract 3 from 2, so this is 2 minus 3 and I get here a value minus 1, right. Similarly, if I want to multiply 2 and 3, so this is 2 into 3, this is here 6. And similarly, if I want to divide 3 by 2, this is 3 by 2 and it is giving me here the value 1.5. So, you can see here that this operation is just like uh, say as in the calculator, right, okay. And now, we again come back to our screen and so, you can um, just do all this operation over here yourself and can try, okay. Now, similarly, uh, if I want to find out here 2 cube then this is written here as a say there are two options either I can write down here 2 and say here hat and here 3 or this can be written here 2, 2 stars 3. So, in case if I am putting here 1 star that may uh, indicates only multiplication and when I try to put 2 stars 
then it will indicate the exponent. So, this is actually 2 star star 3 and then you can see here when I try to write 2 cube, this is 2 carat 3 and then this is here 8 and the same thing with 2 star star 3 and this is also giving me here the value 8. So, you can try it yourself on your, on your computer and you will get the same thing, okay. So, and similarly if you want to find out the square root, square root is something like 2 raised to the power of 1 by 2 which is equal to here 2 raised to the power of here 0 0.5 and so once you try to do it for example I am trying to write down here this here as a 2 has 0 0.5 you can see here I am getting the value of here square root of 2 and the same thing I can also write by writing 2, uh, 2 star star 0 0.5 and this is again giving me the same value as a square root of 2 over 1.414 to 14. And if I want to find out suppose 1 upon a square root of 2, this can be written as 2 raised to the power of minus 1 by 2 and this is 2 raised to the power of here minus 0 0.5. So, this I am trying to write down here 2 hat minus 0 0.5 and then I am getting here the value of this thing. Right, okay. So, let us try to just uh, uh, do this operations uh, on the R G Y window also. Okay. So, if you try to see here, if I try to write down here 2 hat 3, this is here 8 and see here 2 star star 3, this is again here 8 and if I try to write down here 2 hat 0 0.5, this is square root of 2 and, uh, and if I try to write down here 2 hat minus 0 0.5, this is giving me here the, the value of 1 upon a square root of 2, right. Okay. So, now I come back to our slides and we can continue again. So, now after this simple operation, little bit more complications. If you try to see here what I have done here, I have taken here 4 values 2, 3, 5 and 7 and these values have been combined inside a vector and and then i am trying to find out the square of this combined vector of 2 3 5 7 if you try to do so you get this outcome so now we have to understand what is really happening when i am trying to do so when i write this statement, this is actually trying to square each and everything. So, this square goes over here, this square goes over here, this square goes over here and this square also goes over here. So, this becomes here 2 square, 3 square, 5 square and 7 square and these are the value which have been obtained over here. And this is the screenshot, so you can be sure that the same outcome is being obtained. So, the moral of the story is this, whenever you are trying to make a mathematical operation over a vector, then you need to understand what is really happening. Now, I will try to take some more example where I will uh, try to clear that one has to be very careful when it is trying to operate with vector manipulations. Okay. Now, in the next slide, you see I am now taking an example where I have a vector which is combined with the values 2, 3, 5 and 7 and the exponent of this vector is something like another vector which is combined with 2 and 3. And if you try to get the outcome, the outcome looks like this, right. So, now one has to observe what is really happening. The rule is this, when I am trying to take an exponent, then the exponent is going like this. The set of these two values 2 and 3, this is coming over the set of these two values first and then the same thing is being repeated in the set. So, what is really happening? When I am trying to uh, write down here C, 2, 3 multiplied by C, 2, 3.
So, what is really happening that this 2 is coming over here and 3 is coming over here. So, we get here say here 2 square and say 3 cube. And when I am trying to write down here 2, 3, 5, 7 with C, 2, 3. So, this is happening C, 2, 3 hat C, 2, 3 and C, 5, 7 hat C, 2, 3. So, this is actually 2 square 3 cube and then again from here this gives me 5 square and 7 cube and these are the values which have been obtained over here and this is a screenshot of this thing which is obtained here. So, you can see that whenever we are trying to multiply a vector by a vector then how the operations are being carried out. But please note one thing here that here the number of multiples are the same that means everything is being multiplied by in a factor of 2 values. Now, let us try to take more complicated example and let us try to see what happens. Okay. So, now I am trying to take here 6 values which are combined in a vector here C and these values are being multiplied by another vector that contains 3 values. So, here now what will happen that we try to divide them in the multiple of 3. So, these 3 values will go over here in the same order and these 3 values will also go here in the same order. So, what happens here that uh, when I try to multiply it here, when this value is going to this thing, this becomes here 1 say square something like this 1 with this thing, 2 with 3 and 3 with 4. So, this becomes here 1 is square 2 cube and 3 is power of here 4. And when I try to multiply this uh, 4, 5, 6, let me try to clear it so that I can explain you better. When I try to take here this 3, 5, 6 with 2, 3, 4, then 2 comes here, 3 comes here and 4 comes here. So, this value becomes here 4 is power of square, 5 is the power of cube. 5 cube and 6 this is power of here 4 and this is and this is the value which is being calculated here right and the same outcome is being obtained over here also in the r uh, graphic user face interface window now i am trying to create some troubles right up to now we have seen that uh, that everything was nice now i am trying to take here another example where i have a combined vector of 4 values 2, 3, 5 and 7 and then I am trying to take an exponent with respect to see here another vector which has only 3 values. So, you can see here that the number of values in this vector here are 3 that is 2, 3 and 4 and this is not really an exact multiple of the number of values in the first vector which has got 4 values. So, when I try to do it, then it gives me this outcome, but it also gives me a warning message. And this warning message is longer object length is not a multiple of shorter objective length in this thing. So, it is, so although it is giving us an outcome, but it is also giving us a warning. There is a difference between a warning and an error. Error is something like fundamental mistake. In case if I try to make um, uh, may make an error in the, in the program, the program will not run and it will give me an error message. But in this case, it is giving us a warning. Warning means, well, I am trying to do your job, but you have to be careful and, uh, and you need to check whether the outcome is correct and it is as per the objective. What is happening here? So, if I try to write down here this vector 2, 3, 5, 7 which is being exponent by another vector c 2, 3 and 4. So, you can see here this 2, 3 and 4 there are 3 values and these 3 values come over here with these 3 values. 
But now in the next slot, when this 2, 3 and 4 comes over here, there are not 3 values, but there is only 1 value. So, what is happening that when this is coming over here, we get here 2 square, 3 cube, 5 raised to the power of here 4, but when this comes over here, then I get only here 7 raised to the power of here square. There is no value here on which I can put here 3 and 4. So, that is the reason that it is trying to give you a warning that the, these two combined vectors are not of the multiple times length. Okay. So, and the same thing I have given here that you can try yourself. Uh, just uh, type this thing and then try to see the outcome in your R uh, GUI window. Okay. Now, I come to another aspect. Now, I am trying to multiply a vector by a value. So, here I have got here a vector of 2, 3, 5 and 7, 4 values which are combined by the command C and I am trying to multiply this vector by a numerical value 3. So, now what is really happening? You can see here, now each of the element 2, 3, 5 and 7, they are being multi multiplied by the value here 3. So, 2 is being multiplied by 3, 3 is being multiplied by 3, 5 is being multiplied by 3 and 7 is being multiplied by 3 and this is the outcome that we are getting 6, 9, 15 and 21 and this is here the screenshot. So, you can be confident that I am going to get the same outcome. So, the rule is that whenever we are trying to multiply an element inside the combined vector, each and every value is being multiplied. As a rule of thumb, I can say that whenever we are trying to do any mathematical operations on a vector by a scalar, then the same operation is being carried out over each and every element in that combined vector. The same thing will be true with addition or subtraction, multiplication or say division. Okay. Let us try to take some more examples. Now, I have taken here a vector of 4 values 2, 3, 5, 7 which are combined by the command C and here I am trying to take another vector of the values minus 2, minus 3, minus 5 and 8. And I am trying to multiply both these vectors. If you try to do so, the outcome will come like this. So, what is happening? That each and every element is being multiplied by its own respective position. For example, if 2 is here the first element, the first element is being multiplied by the first element of another vector. If 3 is the second element, then 3 is being multiplied by the second value. 5 is at the third place, so 5 is being multiplied with the third value and 7, this is at the fourth place, so the, this is being multiplied by here the fourth value and we get here 2 into minus 2, 3 into minus 3, 5 into minus 5 and 7 into 8 and we get here this outcome. So, you can see here that when we have a vectors of the same length, then their respective positions are being multiplied together. Okay. Right. And similarly, when I am uh, trying to take a vector of 4 elements which are combined together, the values are 2, 3, 2, 3, 5 and 7 and they are being mul multiplied by another vector. Right. Then in that case, we get an outcome here something like this 16, 27, 40 and 63. Now, you have to see what is being happening. This is a similar rule what we have done earlier that these two values are being multiplied first on these two values and these two values are being multiplied again with these two values. So, if I try to write down here what we are trying to do, it is something like 2, 3, multiplied by C 8 9 and C 5 7 multiplied by C 8 9 and this is what we are getting here that this multiplies 
that this multiples are coming 2 into 8, 3 into 9, uh, 5 into 8 and 7 into 9 and this is the screenshot of this thing, right, okay. Other hand, if I try to make this example little bit complicated, so here I am trying to take a vector of order 4, there are 4 elements and I am multiplying it by, by another vector which has only 3 elements. So again the same thing is happening, I am getting here a warning message because when I am trying to multiply it, this is there are 3 values 8, 9 and 10. These 3 values are being multiplied by here with the these 3 values. So I am going to get here 2 into 8, 3 into 9 and 5 into 10. Now when this operation comes again over the next set of values, then there is only one value which is 7 and 7 is being multiplied by the first element here 8. But there is no value here which can be multiplied by 9 and there is no value here which can be multiplied by here 10 and so that is why we are getting here a warning message. So that is what we have to be careful when we are trying to play with the vectors and matrices, okay. And similarly when I am trying to make here addition and subtraction, you can see here we have the simple rule that I am trying to take here a vector of 2, 3, 5, 7 and I am adding here one scalar value 10. Then this value is being added on each and every element, right and I am getting here 2 plus 10, 3 plus 10, 5 plus 10, 7 plus 10 and ultimately we get here this outcome and this is the screenshot. Similarly, and I am trying to uh, add two vectors then I am trying to take here a vector of uh, 4 elements and another vector of 4 elements and then I am trying to when I am trying to add them then this is being added to this, this is being added to this, third place is being added to the third place and so on. So again the same rule continues here that the respective positions uh, values are being added. So this is the operation which is happening here 2 plus minus 2, 3 is being added to minus 3, 5 is being added to minus 5 and 7 is being added to 8 and we get the this screenshot over here. So the rule is similar as we have done earlier. So now I am trying to take another example where I have a vector of 4 elements and I am trying to add another vector of 2 elements. So what is really happening that these 2 elements are being added to these 2 vectors and these two elements are again added to this vector. So practically we get here 2 plus 8, 3 plus 9 and again I get here 5 plus 8 and 7 plus 9 and this is the outcome that we are getting over here and th this is the screenshot, right. Similarly, if I try to take here a vector of size 4 and I am trying to add here another vector of size 3, so again you can see this is not the multiple uh, length of the first vector. So in this case what is really happening that these 3 values 8, 9 and 10 they are being added to the first 3 values 2, 3 and 5 and in the second case it is not happening. So I am trying to add here 2 plus 8, 3 plus 9, 5 plus 10, 7 plus 8 and when I am trying to add here say here 9 and 10 once again then there is no value. So that is why it is giving us a warning message. So and this is the screenshot, so you can try with the, these things. So now you can see that I have taken here several examples with different types of combination of the problems and I have tried to solve it, but definitely you will learn it only when you try to do it yourself and do some more practice. So try to take some more example from the assignment or try to do it uh, yourself and he will see you in the next lecture. Till then, goodbye.